Good afternoon, this is Giuseppe Basile, I'm the NSN Trader, you can find the blog FibonaccioStalking.com I also post regularly on Twitter using the AdFibStalker nickname uh, Good morning, today is uh, Friday, March the 15, 2013, it's 4.30pm Italian time and I want to remind you that the time time zone is GMT plus one. This video is a quick review of General Electric. This is the first time I reviewed this stock. And uh, this video is part of my Fibstalk review on stocks series. And um, in this kind of videos, I like to review the stock on the on a long, uh, very long time frame, the weekly chart, and then drill down into the daily chart to see whether we have uh, opportunities that could uh, materialize in the, um, in the next uh, few days or weeks. So let's start from the weekly. Uh, this stock is around now since uh, some time and I uh, have data going back to 74 here. But um, I think it's, uh, it's meaningful to review the stock basically in the last uh, in the last uh, few years so since the uh, 2000 um, since 2000 so we when when we had the the highs and um, we could um, we could actually observe that this first retracement going from the highs uh, at around 60 70 here to the lows in 2002 at 21 40s um, um, I did allow the, the identification of this uh, level of resistance, the 4110, the 41 area, and as we can see in 2007, um, that was that marked the, the top. So there was some selling uh, right at this 4110, showing that actually uh, program trading is working on this uh, on this stock as well. Now, if we trace from the highs in 2007 to the lows in March 2009 when um, the Fed in the United States started the uh, quantitative easing so pushing money into the system and part of this money came into and uh, is coming into the, um, the market, the general market as well as we can see this highlighted another level of resistance the, the 24 um, area and uh, that's not a case. I mean, I didn't pick this uh, stock because of of this, but uh, once uh, I started analyzing it, I, I just um, uh, verified that uh, the stock is right at this 24 area, and as we can see, it came uh, to that uh, last uh, last week, uh, March the 8, and in March the 8, and this week is reacting lower uh, to this level. So there is definitely participation on the short side. Uh, going on at that level, uh, let's try to um, let's try to understand what were the, the measured moves here on this stock besides um, besides this uh, level of of resistance here. So um, what I could uh, what I could actually see is that um, we and I, I could only identify this uh, after. Um, basically after um, observing uh, price behavior. So we have these uh, lows uh, in, um, in 2009, uh, July 2009 to highs in uh, um, September 2009 and we have this level of support, the 14th level and um, it hit uh, the first target in 19 and then there was a retracement into that uh, level and uh, again um, the 19 was it and price came close to the second target 2180 and all this process took uh, actually two years and then again as we can see this 14 level is very important because it was retested in uh, in the fourth quarter of the 2011 as well so after that test price was able to go higher and uh, went through the first uh, target in 1910 and to the second target in one to uh, 2180 and uh, above that so um, as price went above uh, the second target our rules tell tell uh, me that my rules tell me that we can trace the extension the next extension and that's the uh, level we um, should be uh, watching at the moment. 
that's a very important level so let, let me change the scale because I want to do some um, uh, considerations on um, on this uh, level and where uh, we could where we could go with this um, with this uh, level of support here so I'm going to scale this and as we can see we have support in the 24 uh, area here that was tested uh, once in November last year and then at the very beginning uh, of uh, 2013 and this is and this um, level of support broke price into this level of resistance in 24 now if this um, if this uh, level of resistance works what we should see probably um, we should see um, price being pushed below the below this level below the 2140 area so if we see price moving below this uh, then uh, this level of resistance here it's uh, it's real and so there is actually strong participation on the short side on this um, stock and uh, we and this could actually push uh, price um, to previous lows at, at, uh, at around 14 but even lower because the targets uh, of this um, move here are uh, below uh, the lows, the 2009 lows. So the target on the short side, due to this um, huge resistance here, are below uh, 2009 lows. Uh, however, there is still the possibility that uh, even uh, if price moves below this 2140, we, we have uh, still the possibility to retest this level of support of 2035 so because we have a strong market at the moment um, on the other side there is always the possibility that the price could just continue higher and in that case we would see the first target being hit at 2450 in the coming weeks and since this support in the 2035 are it's an, it's an extension higher there is also the potential to um, to break uh, sorry to reach the 2660 second level of um, second level of um, of target now it's very important that uh, to understand that if we um, if we move above this uh, 2831 level, uh, there is the possibility for uh, General Electric to uh, retrace all the way into the halfway back shorts, which uh, would be this um, 3329. So uh, there are uh, still a few um, open scenarios here in the in the stock. So going to the daily. Um, Going to the daily, we have to remember that we have uh, we have uh, resistance in the 24 uh, area, and uh, it's not easy indeed to um, to um, uh, study and model price uh, uh, in the last uh, uh, three months, two months, because of gaps. But you have to keep in mind uh, this important level that I already mentioned. It's 2140 with price moving below it. We uh, we actually um, we actually confirmed this uh, resistance in 24. Um, at the moment, it looks like the um, the next level of support uh, is this 2286. So if we see a bounce in the 22 uh, around the 2290 area, and press never. Uh, um, if it falls uh, be, uh, below 2260 then we can uh, we can play the bounce with a stop below 2260 and uh, try to understand whether we are going to break the 24 um, area of um, of resistance otherwise we will continue lower into this so 2190 and we will need to test this level uh, for uh, support as well um, i hope this uh, this video is useful um, and 
I want to remind you that uh, the videos in this series are uh, published uh, on uh, the stocks and ETFs page uh, on my blog uh, with uh, 10 to 15 days delay if you want to receive this information uh, together with my uh, newsletter um, just subscribe uh, uh, for free uh, the newsletter on my home page and it takes only 10 seconds to, to do that Thank you very much for your attention. Wish you a very good uh, trading week next week and uh, all the best. I, I look forward to see you on my blog. Bye bye. Thank you.